I think there was always that sort of idea of Japan being a place that was completely different to New Zealand and it's something that really um, stuck out to me. The mystique of Japan I guess was just overwhelming and that it's not just the language, it's actually the culture and the people and the food. And New Zealand's a multicultural country. We spend every day talking with different people from different cultures and different backgrounds. I heard a phrase before that said if you're talking to someone in their second language, you're talking to their brain. But if you're talking to someone in their first language, you're talking to their heart. I feel that gave me sort of a cultural understanding it opened my eyes towards how people think differently in different parts of the world. Learning a language teaches you that it's not right, it's not wrong, it's just different. Having learned Japanese, having a passion for Japan, it's enabled me to go on a path that I wouldn't have normally taken. I think having something that not everyone else has is a really um, big plus for you in your future career. If you can speak Japanese and understand the culture, then there, it, it opens up the doors to so many opportunities that it that becomes a life skill. I've been to Japan five times now, loved it every time and it's just a country that I think of as my second home. Living in Japan, especially my first two years just out of university, I would still say were possibly two of the best years of my life. Wonderful people have made me who I am, they've taught me lots and lots of things in life. I just remember every single day was fun. <laughs> I would be really disappointed if other people missed out on that too.